colleagues, just once we're waiting, we have a couple of minutes just um, to run through a couple of essentials for your yoga practice. So what I'm holding up is a yoga mat. And this is a special, uh, you see them being sold everywhere now, um, but uh, just make sure that when you buy your yoga mat, it has a nice firm grip on it. So you can stick your hands and your feet onto that mat, prevents you slipping and sliding, especially when we're working in such a confined space. Just need to make sure that we're not going to be going all over the place and injuring ourselves. So make sure you have a nice, good quality yoga mat, plenty of those still around. Also to help us, there is a yoga block. This is called a yoga block. And that helps us when we want to put, um, when maybe our hands don't reach all the way to the floor, you can nicely use a block as a support. Also under your back, you can put the back, uh, the block as a support to help you with your, um, with your practice. So a nice foam yoga block. We also have a flat block here, a flat block. And these are great if you want to open up our hip flexors, great for us to sit on them. So they just help ease the tension in the hip flexors helping us open up our hips. That's a nice, um, that's a, a yoga block. So there's two types of yoga blocks, you know, a, a smaller one and a flatter one. Okay, or I should say a short and flat one, I suppose. So just an essential sort of um, kit to have um, and found in all sort of yoga shops, um, specialist yoga shops, or these days also in your sports stores. But essential, really, really key is to have a good yoga mat and you can, you'll be grateful for that investment and keep on using it for years and years to come. Okay, let's get started. Um, I can't see you guys, so, um, um, you know, my namaste to everybody. Um, but if anyone wants to let me know if they have any injuries, conditions, aches, pains, anything they need to raise, we have a couple of minutes, so just um, please unmute yourself, so I, um, maybe if you want to come on video, or just let me know if there's any issues that you have that I should be particularly careful, mindful during our practice, and you should be mindful about. Okay. Okay, so everyone just be careful. You do the practice as best as you can. It's not a competition, as I always say, it's yoga. Let's come to sit cross legs. If you do have a block or if you have a cushion, you can come to sit on your block, working your two sitting bones to the front of the block. Most of the block is going to be empty. So there is nothing at the back, uh, two thirds of the block. You're just going to be sitting on the top one third of the block. So coming to sit cross-legged. See how the pelvis lifts up. You're able to then tilt the pelvis slightly forwards. We're going to take our hands and place them lightly on our knees. Lengthening the spine, roll the shoulders back and down. Chin parallel to the floor, we close the eyes. Becoming aware of how we're seated. Bringing your awareness to the two sitting bones, fitting into your mat or into your block. Tilting the pelvis forwards, slightly. Bringing the awareness to the lower back. Keeping the spine straight. Bringing the awareness into your middle back. The awareness into the upper back. Work your shoulder blades closer together, it lifts the chest higher. Bring your awareness into your neck. 
into the head. The top of the head reaching up to the ceiling. Eyes gently closed. Tall, straight back. Bringing the awareness into your breath. Breathing in, breathing out through the nose. As you breathe in, the air enters the body through the nose, goes down the windpipe, flooding the lungs. On the exhale, navel presses against the spine. The air leaves the body through the windpipe, out through the nose. Inhaling all the way deep into the body, into the lower abdomen. On the exhale, navel presses against the spine. The air leaving the body through the nose. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. To help us bring your awareness to the space between the upper lip and the nostrils. As you breathe in, cool air enters the body. As you breathe out, warm air leaves the body. Feeling the change in the temperature of the breath as you inhale, as you exhale. Awareness of the rhythm to our breaths. Inhaling and exhaling. Careful not to round our shoulders. Keep tilting the pelvis forwards, not sitting in our lower back. Long breath in, long breath out. I want to stay with this steady pattern, breathing rhythm for the rest of our practice. Inhaling and exhaling. And very gently, we're going to open the eyes. Coming off the block, if you're seated on one. We're going to extend our arms forward, spreading our fingers as far away from each other. Roll onto the hands and knees, place your hands shoulder distance, open up the knees and work your knees underneath the hips. Make sure your hands are your shoulder distance, your feet are your hip distance, your shins are going behind those knees. On the inhale, look up to the ceiling, lift the tailbone up, exhale, rounding the back. Inhale, lifting the chest as high as we can. Exhale, suck your belly in, drop the tailbone down. Inhale, we come up. And exhale, rounding the back. Coming to a nice flat back, looking just ahead of your fingers. Belly's in. 
On the inhale, lift the right arm up. Let's take the left straight leg back, extending the arm forward, leg back. Exhale, release down. Inhale, left arm, right long leg up. Exhale, down. Inhale, right arm, left leg. Exhale, down. Inhale, left arm, right leg. And to come down. Next time, right arm, left leg up. We stay here. You're going to bend your right elbow and the left knee and the two points meet at your nose. Inhale, then the nap. Reach backward and forward. Exhale, curling. Inhale, lengthening out once more. Exhale, curling. And inhale, straightening out. Release the right hand and the left knee to the mat. Next inhale, left arm, right leg, extending, reaching up. For the exhale, you're going to bend your left knee, or your right knee and the left elbow. Inhale, and reaching up. Exhale, curl up. Inhale to go backward and forward. Exhale, round, round back. And inhale, straighten out again. Release the left hand, right knee down. We're going to open up the knees. You're going to work your hips under the heels, extending the arms forwards, working our forehead to the mat, child's pose. Anytime you need to take rest in this practice, you come into this posture, child's pose. Allowing our hips to settle onto the heels. Allowing the hands to keep inching forwards. Lengthening the entire spine. Breathing in, breathing out through the nose. Inhaling and exhaling. Remember, as I said at the beginning, yoga is not a competition. Each one of us are doing the practice for ourselves. Understanding where we are in terms of the body-mind framework at this moment in time. So we challenge ourselves, but never to overdo it. You can take as many rest breaks as you need. It's your practice. As many rest breaks as you need. You come down into child's pose, and then when you're ready, you join back into the practice. We're going to start moving our arms all the way over to the right side. We're going to fold all the way over the right knee, letting off the head. Keep working the fingertips slightly forwards. Don't fall off your knee, stay on your knee. Let's begin to walk our arms all the way over to the left side. We're going to fold all the way over the left knee, letting off the head. Keep reaching forwards with your fingertips. Keeping the hips still on those heels. Nicely work your hands back to center again. Able to reach further forwards with the fingers, able to settle those hips onto the heels. Feeling the stretch down the sides of the body. Feeling the connection of the torso and the arm. Slowly rolling up to all fours, coming onto all fours. Your hands shoulder distance, knees hip distance, onto all fours. 
tap the toes in. Lift your bottom straight up to the ceiling. Working the hips. Bend one knee. Straighten the leg. Bend your other knee. Straighten the leg. Paddling our feet. Getting into the toes. Allowing the heel to come into the mat. Checking out which leg feels tighter. Right or left. And then stay there with your knees slightly bent, downward facing dog. Begin to walk your feet up to your heart, keeping our feet hip distance. Holding on to the elbows either hand. On the inhale, land in the spine, lift the chest up. Exhale, folding all the way over, letting off the head. Nod your head. Shake the head. Nod the head, shake the head. Stay there, steady fold. Working our body weight over the toes. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. Engaging the lower abs, folding more over those legs. Release the arms, tuck the chin in, and then slowly begin to roll up. Vatabha the time, coming up to stand. We're going to take the arms up to the ceiling, work both your feet together, feet together, arms to the ceiling. Taking a stretch over to the right, reach up, coming up to center, going all the way over to the left. And to sit. Take it once more to the right. Up we come. Over to the left side. And to come up. Releasing the arms. We're going to cross one foot over the other. Keep the feet down. We're going to keep our hips facing forwards. You're not going to twist the hips. Hips forwards. Take the arms up to the ceiling. Hands in Namaste. Let's take a nice twist over to the right. Only the torso, not the hips. Come back to center. Take the hips, uh, do not move hips. Torso twist left. And back to center. Releasing the arms. Tuck the chin in. We begin to roll forwards. Coming all the way over the legs. Laying off the head. Fingertips may or may not touch the mat. Doesn't matter. Keep working your breath into the back leg. We inhale, begin to roll back up, uncurling the spine, vertebra at a time, the head rolling up the lungs. Uncrossing the feet, we're going to cross our feet the other way. Take the arms up to the ceiling again. This time we're going to take our twist over to the left. Keep the hips forwards and center it is. Take a twist over the other side and back to center. Releasing the arms, tucking the chin in. Slowly we roll forwards, going all the way over the legs, letting off the head. Maybe fingers, hands down or not, doesn't matter. Keep breathing into the back of the back leg. And tuck the chin in, slowly we roll up, smooth and control. Coming up to stand. We're going to bring both our feet together, standing at the top of your mat, feet together, big toes touching. Lift all the toes off the mat. Work your baby toe down first, rest of the toes, the big toe thumbs coming down together. Lift the toes up again. This time, bring your big toe thumbs down together first, relaxing the fingers, only the feet are working. Working the rest of the toes, baby toes are lost. Ankles may or may not touch. Pull up your kneecaps, roll the thighs up. 
Keep your lower abs in, the tailbone rolls down, lift the heart center, chest to head. Shoulders to the ears, all the way down. Shoulders up to the ears. Take them back, all the way down, once more. Up to the ears, back and down. Jump parallel to the floor, we close the eyes. Crown touching the ceiling. Your feet press deep into the mat. Standing tall, standing straight. Breathing in, breathing out, inhaling and exhaling, inhaling and exhaling. Gently opening the eyes, on the inhale, lengthen the arms, and we take a little back bend. Exhale, fold all the way over your legs. Inhale, take the right leg back, place the knee down. Exhale, fingertips look straight ahead. Place both your hands down, take the left leg back. We make it a strong plank. Exhale, only the knees, the chest and the chin to the mat. Your elbows in, butt high. And tuck your toes, we glide forwards. Pull the shoulders back. Bellies in, tuck your toes under, lift the bottom up. It's a downward facing dog. Hands shoulder distance, spreading our fingers. Feet hip distance, working our heels into the mat. Long, long legs. Belly in, bottoms high. Breathing in, breathing out. Next inhale, bring the right foot forwards, work the left knee down. Exhale, fingertips look straight ahead. Inhale, bring the left foot in. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, lend in the arms, we reach up, take a little back bend. Exhale, arms to the side. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, left leg back, knee down. Exhale, fingertips, chest lifts. Hands down, take the left, right leg back, plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, baby cobra, chest up. Look to the mat. Tuck your toes under, downward facing dog. Keep working the hips high to the ceiling. Working the biceps, rolling them outwards. Palms pressing deep into the mat. Breathing in, breathing out. Next inhale, we're going to bring our left foot forwards, right knee down. Exhale, lift the chest high. Inhale, bring the right foot in. Exhale, chin touching. Inhale, lend the arms reaching up with a little back bend. Exhale, arms to the side. We try that round once again and we make it a little faster. Inhale, up and back. Exhale and fold. Inhale, right leg back, knee down. Exhale, chest open. Inhale, left leg back. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, down doggy. Inhale, right foot forwards, left knee down. Exhale, chest up. Inhale, left foot forwards. Exhale, fold. Inhale, hand and arms up. We come, exhale, arms down, inhale, up and back, exhale, fold, inhale, left leg back, knee down, exhale, chest up, inhale, right leg back, plank, exhale, knees, chest, chin, inhale, baby cobra, exhale, down, doggy, adjust, inhale, left foot forwards, right knee down, exhale, chest open, inhale, right foot in, exhale, fold, 
Inhale, lend the arms, reach back, back, back. Exhale, arms down. Palms forwards, eyes closed. Palms forwards, eyes closed. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhaling and exhaling. Allowing the crown to reach the ceiling. Working our shoulder blades closer together at the back. Lower abs engaged, tailbone down. Feet pressed deep into the mat. Standing tall, standing straight. Inhaling and exhaling. Very gently open the eyes. You're going to take a big step out, taking a big step out. So making sure that your legs are as wide as we can take them. Taking your arms up, taking the arms up. We're going to turn our left foot in 45 degrees. Your right big toe is heading all the way to the front of the mat or the back of the mat. You're going to bend the right knee sharp. Now, if you have your block, you can place your hand on a block outside the foot. If you don't have your block, it's okay. Place your elbow on the knee. Open the chest. Work the left arm all the way behind the ear, turning to look to the left fingers. Keep working our back leg long and straight, not bending it, not collapsing into it. Looking to those left fingers. Making sure we've got a nice 90 degree angle from the back of the right thigh to the calf, 90 degree angle. Turn to look to your right big toe. Well, then inhaling, we come all the way up, straightening the right leg. You're going to turn the right foot in, your left big toe heading straight to the back wall. We're going to bend that left knee as sharp as we can, making sure we get our 90 degree angle. Working your uh, left hand as either outside the foot or your elbow on the knee, your palm over the bed. Open the chest, taking the right arm behind the ear. Turning to look to the right fingers. Keep straightening the back leg. Turn to look to your left big toe. Inhale to come up. Begin to straighten that left leg. We're going to turn our left foot in. Your right big toe heading to the front wall. Bending our right knee nice and sharp. You're looking along the right middle finger through and through the back, through and through the front wall. Begin to open up your, turn the palms down. Opening up the arms, the palms come down. Open up those arms. And turn the palms down. Just begin to straighten that right leg. Turning the foot in. Your left big toe heads to the back. Bend the left knee sharp. Open chest, shoulders relaxed. Open up those arms. Rotate just the hands. Opening up the entire arm. Working the palms down. Opening up the arm. Turning the palms down, relaxing the shoulders down, working with our breath, inhaling and exhaling. Begin to straighten, straighten the left leg. We're going to turn our left foot in. See if you can take your feet further out, but don't do a banana split. Take our feet further out. 
Turn your big toes inward, so your pigeon toe and big toes go in, keeping the legs long and straight. Take an inhale here. On the exhale, bring your hands to the waist. Inhale, land of the spine, lift your chest up. On the exhale, folding forwards. Put your hands to the mat. Turn the palms so that they're going to go through and through the legs. Begin to walk your hands toward the back, letting off the head. Keeping the arms as long and straight as we can. Allowing our torso to go through and through those legs as far as we can. Without collapsing into the knees, keeping the legs long and straight. Keep lifting your kneecaps up. And slowly, let's turn the palms, working our hands forwards, fingertips forwards, toenails, fingernails, straight line. On the inhale, lend the spine, lift the chin up. You may come onto your fingertips. On the exhale, can we fold a little more forwards? If you have a block, you can place the top of your head on that block. Next inhale to look up, bringing our hands to the waist, work the shoulders back, tuck the chin in, begin to roll up, slowly we come up, lifting the chest, lifting the face, releasing the hands, begin to walk your feet together, coming to stand then at the top of the mat, working both our feet together. We're gonna to bring our hands to the waist, hands to the waist, Taking all the weight onto the left leg, you're going to lift the right knee up and we take those ankle rolls round and round, ankle rolls. Change direction, ankle rolls the other way. Stay there, steady foot, holding on to the knee with both the hands, lifting the knee up closer to the ceiling. Drawing the knee closer to your chest. And the exhale to slowly release up, hands to waist. Take your weight onto the right knee. We lift the left knee up. We take our ankle rolls round and round, round and round. Change direction the other way. Let's hold on to the knee, lifting the knee up toward the ceiling, working the shoulders down, try not to round the shoulders, crown reaching to the ceiling, heel pressing left, right heel pressing into the floor. And we exhale slowly to come up, hands to the waist. Take all your weight onto the right leg. You're going to position, uh, sorry, onto the left leg, positioning the right foot, either by the ankle or underneath the kneecap or above the left kneecap. You're going to bring our hands to Namaste. Lift your arms up to the ceiling, opening the palms, rolling the shoulders down. Breathing in, breathing out. Your gaze at a fixed point on the floor, which is not moving. A meter in front of the left big toe. Close the namaste. Let's bring it down to the heart center. And the exhale to release out, hands waist. Taking our weight onto that right leg. Position your left foot either by the right ankle, underneath, or above the right kneecap, not straddling it. 
bringing our hands to us, interlacing the fingers, you're lifting the arms up, working your palms to the ceiling, working the biceps behind the ears, long arms. Keep the left knee pointing out toward the left, not the front wall. Closing the namaste at the top, bringing it down to the heart center. On the exhale to roll out. Keep both the feet together. Open your feet into a V. The arms go up to the ceiling. Yes, namaste. Rise onto your tippy toes. And on the exhale, we slowly come all the way down to the mat. Releasing the arms, draw the knees together, knees to the mat. We take our shins to the right and you sit in the middle, sitting in the middle. We're going to bring the right knee all the way over the left knee. Right knee is on top of the left knee. It's not going up to the ceiling. It's pointing forwards to the front wall. We're going to take our fingers. You're going to slot the fingers in the spaces between the toes. So nicely holding onto our feet. You're going to sit as tall and straight as you can. Chin parallel to the floor, eyes closed. Working with our breath, inhaling and exhaling. Keeping the chest open. Breathing into both the hips. Breathing in, breathing out. Checking out whether we have a tendency to lean to one side, or are we able to keep the body weight equally distributed, right side and left side? Keep relaxing the hips. So easy to clench the glutes, especially on the right side. Keep relaxing. But don't round your lower back, sit tall, sit straight. Then gently open the eyes. You're going to take the left arm up to the ceiling, touching the ceiling. Nicely place the left hand on your back. Taking the right hand, you want to adjust the left elbow tip. So it points up to the ceiling. We're going to take the right hand back. See if you can hook your fingers together or just hold your t-shirt. More important that the elbow tip is to the ceiling and your chin doesn't get stuck to the chest. Keep looking ahead and gently close the eyes. Keep working your breath into both the hips. Inhaling and exhaling. Make sure your heels are facing in towards the hips, both the knees pointing forwards. Careful that our left elbow tip doesn't start drooping forwards. Keep taking it up to the ceiling. Lift the chest a little more. Draw your shoulder blades a little closer together at the back. On the next inhale, lengthen your spine a little more. On the exhale, we fold all the way over the knees, coming as far forwards as we can. Inhale, begin to roll back up, coming up to seated. Open the eyes and we release up. Look at the way our legs are crossed. We're just going to switch them around. So now positioning your left knee on top of the right knee. The heels are pointing in towards the hips. The toes are reaching out. Spread your fingers. Let's slot the fingers in the spaces between the toes. 
taking a nice firm grip, sitting taller, sitting straighter, long straight arms, eyes closed. This time the sirens will be wailing away in that left hip. Keep taking your cool breath into the left hip, relaxing, release, relaxing and releasing. Keep the chest lifting a little higher. Check out the body weight distribution. Now I'm falling to the left side. Or I'm seated equally is straight. Body weight right side and left side, 50-50. Gently reopen the eyes. This time, reaching that right arm high to the ceiling, then place your hand on your back, adjust the right elbow tip, make sure it keeps shooting up to the ceiling. We're going to take our left hand back, hook your fingers together just for your t shirt, keeping the spine straight. We don't want to shrivel and shrink, we don't want to round the back, keeping the chest lifted up. Closing the eyes, careful with the chin, and stick them into the chest. Breathing in cool air, exhaling warm air. Breathing into the right armpits, inhaling and exhaling. Next inhale, then the spine. Lift the chest a little more. On the exhale, let's fall from the hips, coming all the way over your knees, all the way over the knees. Inhale, we roll back up again. And the exhale to release all the way out. You're going to lift both our knees now, lifting your knees. You're going to take your hands underneath the shins. Roll the shoulders to the ears, to the back and down. Up to the ears, all the way back and down. Belly goes in. On the inhale, lifting the shins parallel to the floor. You're looking to your big toes, extending the arms forward. Keep lifting the chest up, breathing in, breathing out. Keep working your belly button into the thighs, thighs into the belly button. Cross the shins, bring the shins down. Hands by the hips, lift your hips and we rock our bottom up. And to come all the way down to the mat. Extending our legs forwards, extend your arms. Let's come to lie down on our backs, rolling all the way down to the mat. You can bring your hands under the hips. Take the legs up to the ceiling. You're going to cross one ankle over the other, shoulders down. On the exhale, bring the heels down to the inch. Inhale, lift the legs up. Exhale, roll the legs down. Inhale, legs rise up. Exhale, to work the legs down. Inhale, the legs stay up. Across your ankles, cross them the other way. On the exhale, work the legs down to the inch. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, go down. Inhale up, one more round. Exhale to come down. And inhale, work your legs back up. Across your ankles, bend your knees. 
Right hand, right knee, left on the left knee. Move the knees away from each other to the front and into the chest. As round circles as we can make. Giant circles, big, big circles. Change direction, take your circles the other way. Round and round. Big circles the other way. Bring the knees into the chest. Shoot the left leg forwards. Hold your right knee with both the hands. Working your right knee and do the right armpits. Head as center, shoulders into the mat. Keep flexing both your feet. Working the back of the left knee into the mat. With every inhale, the right knee comes closer into the armpits. We're then going to hold to the outside of the right foot, taking your right foot up to the ceiling, working your right knee deep into the right arm, placing the left hand nicely on the left thigh, relaxing the left leg, allowing the left hip to settle into the mat, breathing into the right hamstrings. Slowly to release, bend your right knee again. Keep working your right knee to the right armpits. Next inhale, forehead to the right, arm, uh, right knee. Lift the left leg a couple of inches off the mat, pointing the left foot. And to release up. Shoot the right leg forward. Let's bend our left knee. Hold the left knee, both the hands, work your left knee deep into the left armpit, feet flex. Keep the head as centered, try not to turn the neck. Let's hold on to the outside of the left foot. We want to keep working our left knee into the left armpit. This time, right hand on the right thigh. Breathing into the back of the left leg. Easing the left hip. And slowly to release. Hold your left knee both hands. Work the left knee deep into the left armpits. Next inhale, forehead to the left knee, lift your right leg up, point the right toes. And to release up. Straighten the left leg forward, take your arms over the head. Give yourself a big stretch, fingers go back, toes forwards. Exhale into the mat. Work your arms down by the sides, lift the knees up, place your feet on the floor. Able to feel, keep your feet your hip distance. Able to feel your heels with your fingertips. On the inhale, lifting the hips up. Shimmy the shoulder blades closer together. Next inhale, take the arms all the way to the back. Keep lifting the hips a little higher. Fingertips touch the back wall. Keep pressing the big toes into the mat. Roll the arms down by the hips. Slowly to work your spine all the way down to the mat. Hang your knees into your chest. Holding on to the outside of the feet with either hand. Begin to take your feet up to the ceiling, open the knees slightly. Working our knees deep into the armpits, happy baby pose, closing the eyes. 
Slowly to release that. Placing both our feet onto the mat. Keeping your feet onto the mat. We're going to take the hands underneath the head. We're going to drop the right knee down, sideways on. Left knee points up to the ceiling. Lift the right knee up. Drop the left knee all the way down. Lifting the left knee up. You're going to open up your feet sideways on so they are on the short edges of your mats. We're going to drop both our knees to the right. Dropping both the knees to the right. Keep both the shoulders into the mats. And a center still. Relaxing those glutes. Lift your knees up again. Let's drop our knees all the way over to the left side. Your feet as far away from each other. Letting gravity do its work, allow both the knees to come down to the mat. Slowly lift both the knees back up. Work your knees into the chest, knees together. We make small circles on our lower back, knees together. Small circles with the knees round and round. Changing direction, going the other way, round and round, small circles. Bring the knees into the chest. Straighten the legs forwards, working your heels to the corners of the mat. Flop your toes outwards. Work the arms down by the sides of the body, palms facing the ceiling, fingers gently curled. Shoulder blades settle deep into the mat, closing the eyes. Tuck the chin in slightly. Shavasana, final relaxation. Scanning the body from the crown to the feet, the feet to the crown. Relaxing, releasing, letting go of any areas where tension may have built up. The bones are heavy, settling into the mat. Muscles melting away from the bones. Becoming aware of peace, calm, bliss, joy, living.
And slowly bringing the awareness back into the body again, moving the head from side to side, wiggling the toes and your fingers, bringing movement to the ankles, to the wrists. Bring both your feet in together. Take your arms all the way over the head. Give yourself a big stretch, fingers to the back, toes to the front. Exhale, relax into the mouth. Next inhale, hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a giant Tuesday hug. Forehead meets the knees. Take the right arm all the way over the head. Come into fetal position on the right side. Unless you have low blood pressure, then you tip left. Use the left fingertips by the heart center. Rock yourself up to seated. Let's come to sit cross legs, hands in namaste, eyes closed. Send out all our good wishes to everyone in the world suffering from this terrible disease we have within us. May we all stay happy, may we all stay healthy. May we all bow down and wish each other namaste, namaste. Thank you for practicing with me. Have a lovely rest of the day. Keep safe, stay at home. Thank you.